Tips and tricks number two, function composition and arithmetic. Again, for all materials, this is the website that you can get that step-by-step -step PDF and individual videos. So for this one, we're going to use f of x to be this function, 2x minus 3, and g of x to be x squared plus 1. And we want to evaluate uh, the function at these different places and do some function arithmetic as well. We won't do all of them. I think you'll get the idea here. So the first thing, I'm going to go to y equals and clear anything out that's there. Uh, in y1, I'm going to type in f of x, which is 2x minus 3, and enter. And then for g of x, I'm going to put that in y2, and that is going to be x squared plus 1. So f is in y1 and g is in y2. And so now I'm going to go off to the home screen. Second mode is quit. And to find f at 5, again, I would... Do alpha trace, that's the best way to get the y variables. Alpha followed by trace, that's the F4 key. Press 1 or enter. Y1 parentheses, 5 parentheses. Places 5 into x, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 is 7. Okay. Uh, then if F of g of negative 2 to do composition, again I'll do alpha trace. Y1 has F. Left parentheses. Alpha trace, y2, press either 2 or arrow down and press enter. Left parentheses of negative 2 and then double right parentheses. So it's y1 of y2, f of g of negative 2. And already also 7. Let's go with the reverse to see if composition of functions is uh, commutative. So alpha trace and do y2, left parentheses, alpha trace y1, left parentheses, of negative 2, and then double right parentheses. So y1, negative 2 will be done first, then y2, and you can see that there, it is not commutative. It matters what order you do them for most functions. Right, you also could do a quotient of functions, multiplication of functions. Let's do a quotient of functions. So uh, I can get a quotient from alpha y equals. I get a fraction template from there. Or alpha x t theta n, if you have the latest version of the operating system on your color calculator, x alpha followed by x t theta n also allows you. So let's go find g at negative 4. So in the numerator will be alpha trace y2 of negative 4, right arrow or down arrow, alpha trace, y2 again of, this time 3, oops, like I goofed there, so let me do alpha trace, y2, left parentheses of 3, right parentheses, so it's g of negative 4 over g of 3, and notice it even leaves my answer as a fraction because I had it in a fraction template. If I would have used a division symbol, I would have gotten a decimal. So this concludes the video.